I'm Gagandeep Kang. I am director of the Translational Health Science and Technology Institute in Faridabad. This is an autonomous institute set up by the Department of Biotechnology in the Ministry of Science and Technology. So this is a fairly recent appointment and at THSTI there are many things that I do. But my appointment at THSTI was based on the work that I had previously done on vaccines. This is something that I'm continuing. Now vaccines are something that is probably the best tool that public health has for prevention of infections after water and sanitation. So when you take a vaccine as a child or as, or, or as an adult, what you're trying to do is to prevent people from getting diseases, usually infectious diseases. The first example of the vaccine was for the prevention of smallpox, where Edward Jenner was able to use the cowpox virus to prevent a much more severe form of disease, which was smallpox. Subsequently, a lot of people have developed vaccines for a lot of things. Vaccines are easiest to make when you can take a whole organism and give it to people, and that whole organism then induces a response which protects people from subsequent infection. Now, if the whole organism is killed, then that organism will not clearly produce disease, but you hope it will make an immune response. It's also possible to give live organisms, but in that case, you have to make sure that the organism has been weakened in some way so that it doesn't cause disease, but still induces an immune response. There are still other vaccines which are made of parts of organisms. So you can take particular proteins of the organism, give that and then try to induce a protective immune response. So having different kinds of vaccines has allowed us to prevent a number of diseases in children and in adults. Some vaccines work well, other vaccines don't work so well. So if you look at something like measles, for example, you can give two doses of the measles vaccine and that person will never develop measles in their life. For rubella or German measles, one dose of vaccine is sufficient. But there are other vaccines that don't work very well, for example, BCG which is given to prevent tuberculosis, only prevents certain forms of severe disease. I work with a virus that causes diarrhea. It's called the rotavirus. It's the commonest cause of very, very severe diarrhea in very young children. And that virus can be attenuated to make a vaccine. But the problem with the vaccine that is currently used for rotavirus is that it works very well in children who are born in developed countries. So children who live in a reasonably clean environment and are able to make a good immune response to that virus. In Indian children, what seems to happen is this vaccine, which is given orally, so through the gut, encounters so much interference along its way that children don't make a good immune response and therefore are not protected from disease to the same extent as children in the West. So what we do is look at why does this happen and what is it that we can do to improve the performance of oral vaccines in Indian children. So we've done a lot of studies that look at this so far, we've been unsuccessful, but along the way, we've learned a lot of things about the virus and about the immune response. The part that I like best about being a scientist is being able to ask questions and then figure out ways of answering them myself. So what you read in textbooks is knowledge that has been acquired from other people's work. What I do today will be in textbooks tomorrow. So I think that making sure that I keep challenging my group and myself is very important to me.